there are differences between follicular lymphoma and marginal zone lymphoma in terms of efficacy. For example, these PI3 kinase inhibitors that I mentioned are approved in follicular lymphoma, but their efficacy in marginal zone lymphoma is less clear. On the other hand, the BTK inhibitor ibrutinib is approved for use in relapse marginal zone lymphoma. The dose the dosing strategy is 560 milligrams daily. It's the same dose that we use in mantle cell lymphoma. And uh, the response rate is around 50% with a median progression-free survival of around 14 months. So if you have a patient with recurrent marginal zone lymphoma, I think abrutinib is a very good option for that patient, a good option to consider. And it's interesting, as far as abrutinib goes, uh, very active in CLL and SLL, uh, active in mantle cell lymphoma, and has good activity in marginal zone lymphoma, but has very little activity in follicular lymphoma, for example. So people need to wa be aware that not all indolent lymphomas are the same when you're dealing with these targeted agents.